Kia ora. this is a quick video showing you how to draw an orthographic projection of this little house. It's not really a house, but um, it is similar to um, the cartoon-like houses that you drew when you were little. So we're going to think about the two um, 2D views of this shape, and I'm going to look at this particular view and what surfaces I can see. So and thinking about the proportions of it. Of course, of course it's not going to fit on my page in real size, so I'm scaling it down, and what I'm doing with my fingers is kind of figuring out the proportions of it is half of the length, half of the um, height, or is a third of the length um, double the um, height. So sorting out the proportions so I can match it out on the page because I've drawn out the length and now I'm relating those proportions of the height to, to that length. I'm drawing really lightly because this is just me marking out the different boxes with which the surfaces fit within. Later on I will darken in the final edges because still everything's up for grabs because I see that I've changed the actual height of the chimney there I'm adding in that little detail of the cut and here I am. I, yeah, I'm happy with this shape and um, I'm darkening it in. The next step is to um, get a, another view in here. So we're going to got got this right hand view and it's going to be sitting right next to that front view. In line, we need to project the height across. So here I'm dragging it across. Really light lines and making sure that I've got a gap. So if you use my finger as a guide get a gap so I'd get those edges in that are separate to that front view. I need to make sure that I'm using proportions that relate to the object that's in front of me and marking out things, making sure that I'm using the right kind of geometry. Now that I've got those shapes that I'm happy with, I can darken that in. And the next step is the, the left hand view. I've turned it on, on that left corner and again, I'll project across, drag those that information across that I've already got within my drawing, make that even gap again, and take the width across. I'm measuring with my fingers, you can measure it with your pencil. And I've got my light boxes. Make sure I'm getting the little details in there, those edges that we can see, and darkening them in. Now, we've got these four surfaces that are above. It's in the top view, the, or the plan view. So I drag all the width across, make sure that that gap is the same between the views. And actually, the, all these corners here match up. They're all the same surface. So I can draw in a 45 degree line and switch that information around. Okay, drag it up through a 45 degree and I'll transfer that width within the two side views, the left and the right, around to um, complete the plan view. So I don't have to do any more measuring, I can just drag all of those different elements through the planes. And there we go, there are all the surfaces um, clearly there. So here are the different labels, left hand elevation, right hand elevation or view um, is much shorter, plan and front view. This is a reference line separating each view from one another. It has a pattern long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Be sure to include that. The next and last detail uh, is the idea of hidden edges. There are some edges within this form that is not seen in different views, but still exist. So be sure to include hidden detail lines.